हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लगी फार्मेसी लेट डिस्कस अबाउट द टू मार्क्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग सी यर दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बाय रेफरिंग ओनली दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेट एट लीस्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व मार्क्स सो डोंट मिस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी यू वॉच दिस वो वीडियो एंड लास्ट इफ देर इज नो टाइम टू वॉच एट लीस्ट यू कैन टेक स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस वन क्लियर देन वॉट इज चिक्स लॉ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिक्किक लॉ अज्यूम दैट एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रेड्यूज ए मटीरियल इन साइज वॉज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्स टू द साइज रिडक्शन मीन्स ग्रेटर वी अप्लाई द एनर्जी मीन्स ग्रेटर विल बी द साइज रिडक्शन दिस इज द किक्स लॉ रिमेंबर पॉइंट नेक्स्ट वॉट आर मैनोमीटर्स गिव एग्जाम्पल सी मैनोमीटर इज अ डिवाइस वॉट इट इज डिवाइस दैट इज यूज टू मेजर द प्रेजर ऑफ द पाइप लाइन्स एग्जाम्पल केबल गैस पाइप लाइन वाटर पाइप लाइन लिक्विड पाइप लाइन दिज ऑल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डिस्टिंग बिटवीन फिल्ट्रेशन एंड क्लैरिफिकेशन फिल्ट्रेशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच पार्टिकल्स आर सपरेटेड फ्रॉम लिक्विड थ्रू परमिबल मेम्रेन ओनली वन परमिबल मेम्रेन आ वन इट्स नॉट परमिबल मेम्रेन क्लासिफिकेशन फील्ड स्लरी फिल्टर मीडिया फिल्ट्रेट फिल्टर केक डिफाइन ब्लैक बॉडी एंड ग्रे बॉडी ब्लैक बॉडी इट इज ideal body which allows the whole of the incident radiation to pass into itself and absorbs all the incident radiation now for an example this is a black body means so if radiation passes through this means here it won't emits the radiation just what it will do itself it will pass here only it will pass its radiation okay incident radiation it won't emits gray body is just opposite to that it is a non ideal body which absorbs and emits the energy through ग्रे बॉडीज नेम वन मिल यूज इन साइज रिडक्शन ऑफ फाइबरस एंड हार्ड मटीरियल हैमर मिल हियर ओके द मिल विच इज यूज टू रेड्यूज द साइज ऑफ द फाइबरस एंड हार्ड मटीरियल दैट इज कॉल्ड हैमर मिल एंड इट वर्स ऑन द प्रिंसिपल इम्पैक्ट ऑन द मटीरियल बाय द इम्पैक्ट ऑन द मटीरियल डोंट राइट डायरेक्ट डेफिनेशन सम क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू राइट यू हैव टू एलाबोरेट द आंसर यू हैव टू स्ट्रेच दम एंड राइट इट राइट द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल इफेक्ट इवेपोरेटर्स so they are used in volume reduction eliminates the xenobiotics from pharmaceutical preparation they are used to remove the inert means they are used to remove the chemicals which will cause the reactions okay that reactions may lead to the lead to the chemical degradation or the drug degradation and uh, reducing excess load at that time also we are using this uh, effective evaporators what is impellers impeller is a rotor used to increase the pressure and flow of fluid hmm types are open impeller semi open impellers co closed impellers distinguish between drying and evaporation drying it is a removal of less amount of moisture drying occurs below melting point it carried on the solid materials and example here is powder and products you can make column and write it down okay here for two marks you can make columns and evaporation removal of large amount of moisture it occurs above boiling point it carried out on the liquid materials example solution and the products list uh, two pharmaceutical applications of rubber it is mainly used in the construction of the closer mean for vials transfusion fluid bottles then it is used in the dropping bottles okay etc and what is the advantage of this means permeable to water vapor and also water absorption is very low here rubber they can't absorb the water because the pore size of the rubber is a very small so they can't absorb much water so very low absorption is there for that reason we are using this one and what is biological corrosion given example biological corrosion refers to the deterioration of metal or non -met non metallic materials caused by the influence of the microorganisms Example here is corrosion on steel, al aluminium foil. Anything you can write. Example, write the uses of a pneumatic conveyor. Yes, it is a conveyor belt used in the chemical industries or pharmaceutical industries, mainly used in the formulation of the powdered insufflations. Yeah, and also bulky materials such as grains can be transported easily. Also used in handling of a toxic materials. That time also we are using the pneumatic conveyor belt. Uh, define moderately fine powders. See, moderately fine powders means it is a powder. What is it? It is a powder in which one metal corrodes preferentially. Means, uh, sorry, sorry. It is a 
moderately fine powder a powder of which all the particles pass through the cv number 355 and not more than 40% through a cv number 180 okay cv number 355 but it won't pass more than 40% to the cv number 180 means from that from this what we have come to conclusion means uh, less than 40% the particles are passed through the cv number 355 If greater than forty percent, no, it won't pass. Remember this one, huh? What is a define? Explain galvanic corrosion. Galvanic corrosion is a chemical electrochemical process in which one metal corrodes. What it does? One metal corrodes preferentially when in electrical constant with a different type of metal. Both metals are immersed in electrolyte such as water. Two metals we are immersing, no? In that one metal get corrodes. That's known as galvanic corrosion. Yeah, are you getting? Yeah. Next is how is sedimentation and centrifugation different from filtration and centrifugation? You write down this one. Solids uh, two different densities, uh, two or more phases of the mixture. Then efficacy efficacy depends on the velocity of rotation. Here it is a centrifuge solid is passed through the porous medium based on the difference in the density. You go through this one. Ah, uh, you practice this one. Then explain the concept of solid transport by fluid fluidization. See, fluidization is defined as the method to keep solid particles floating in an upward direction in a flow of gas or liquid. In freezing, fluidization occurs when particles of the similar shape and size are subjected to upward or stream of a low temperature air. Just simple. What is this? Yeah, floating particles. How the gases will float? No. that at that uh, way these uh, solid particles will stay you can take one example when you go for the grinding machine which grinding machine that chili grinding machine are you observe conveyor big conveyor is there is a cyclone separator that even is uh, about that grinder you will see one balloon shape structure ha uh, that balloon shape structure what it will do it will throw out the uh, particle size uh, that particles get revolving no uh, particles floating in an upward direction that's uh, fluidization here write the principle involved in the pi pitot tube it's not pitot tube yeah 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 it's pitot tube you, you go through this very important one uh, it is a fundamental principle of the fluid mechanics means when a fluid stops flowing all of its kinetic energy is converted into pressure energy this one is very important diagram what happens sir rate of filtration when filter rates are used in more than required concentration okay if the filter rates are more than more than required concentration what happens so as the filter aid concentration increases the rate of flow increases flow rate increases and peak off until it reaches to the peak level again if you increase the concentration means the filtration get decreases there is no more filtration or rate of filtration decreases you write this one we can give the one diagram for that like this type of the peak diagram increase at a certain point again it get decreases what are the possible hazards in the chemical pharma industry is see flammable and uh, combustible materials are there hazardous chemicals are there biological hazards are there other lab safety material hazards are there then write rittinger's equation explain the terms rittinger suggests that energy required in size reduction process is proportional to the surface area produced Greater the surface area, greater energy is required. Lesser the surface area, lesser energy is required. Equation you practice this is equal to K R bracket one divided by d two that is like this one one by d two minus one by d one. Okay, this one. These are the all expression meaning of this. What is this e? What is this K R d one d two? Yes, thank you. Uh, you go through these seven, nineteen important questions, sir, which may help you a lot in your examination. Thank you.